And right now at six, there is an important debate happening at the state capitol, and it affects all of our safety and how Arizona investigates doctors, dentists, nurses, and every other healthcare professional. We first told you about House Bill 2686 last week. It's because we believe you should all know as much as possible about the people you trust with your health. ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscopine is back again tonight, and he's here to take you inside the debate so you can see what law makers are doing and why. House Bill 2686 does a lot of things. It would make changes to Arizona's 20 or so health boards and make some of the ways they handle investigations more universal. But there are a few things in that bill that's raising a lot of concern, like limiting what those boards can investigate and hiding thousands of board actions from the public. House Bill 2686. This is the first hearing for House Bill 2686. It's in front of the House Health Committee. So when we look at expe This is the bill sponsor, Representative Selena Bliss, talking about why she introduced it. Of course, we know boards are about keeping patients safe. We all agree with that. Uh, but we believe there's some efficiencies that are lacking. Bliss is a Republican from Prescott. She was also a nurse. It's about getting people to work, keeping them at work. I say that, keeping them at work, because... Boards have been known at times, depending on the board, to be a little over onerous. Quote, onerous. In other words, difficult, oppressive, or backbreaking. And Bliss's bill would do several things, like block anonymous complaints, limit investigators to investigating only what's in initial complaints, and make an entire class of board actions confidential. All the different at the hearing, the nursing board raised concerns about those changes. I'm here today to ask you to vote no on House Bill 26. 86. We're concerned with multiple aspects of the bill, but mostly for the safety of patients and lack of transparency. Diane Caruso works in the nursing board's complaint and investigation unit. But it's common to see something during the course of the investigation come forward that was not an original mention in the complaint. House Bill 2686 states, Boards shall limit an investigation of a complaint to those investigative subjects and actions that are substantially linked to the issues raised in the complaint. Now here's why the nursing board says that's a problem. A board receives a complaint, let's say for a nurse poorly documenting her administration of controlled substances. And over the course of the investigation, the investigator may discover that this nurse has caused some patient harm, even a death. And 2686 appears to prevent the board then from acting on this new information. Um, this isn't hypothetical. <coughs> it's actually happened. The bill would also require health boards to complete all investigations within 180 days. The problem? Boards say they are and have always been understaffed. The nursing board estimates that it would need $2 million more a year to hire enough people to meet the new requirements. We currently open about 3,500 cases over a two-year period, and so 3,500 investigations. Average caseload for senior investigators is 140. For nurse practice consultants is about 70 per person. The average hours it takes to complete an investigation is 30 hours. And then there's the part of the bill that would make non-disciplinary actions confidential. And while that doesn't sound like a big deal, our investigations have repeatedly discovered boards handing out non-discipline for issues like arrests, drug use on the job, and serious cases of malpractice against patients. Non-discipline. Oh, I'm angry. I hope they can sleep at night. That's something several Democratic lawmakers raised concerns about. As for lobbyists, several spoke in favor of House Bill 2686. There was one for nurses, one for pharmacists, and one for naturopathic doctors. They thanked Representative Bliss for bringing it. Members, by your votes of six. And the bill passed on a 6 4 party line vote. You have given a due pass recommendation to House Bill 2686. Now, this bill still has a long way to go. It still needs to pass the full House, then the Senate, before getting a signature from Governor Katie Hobbs. That's something that doesn't look likely based on a statement the governor's office sent us before the hearing. It said, in part, Governor Hobbs believes we need more transparency, not less. You can find our past reporting on this bill, the secrecy of non-discipline, and a lot of other stories about health boards on our website right now, abc15.com investigators. I'm Investigator Dave Biscoving, ABC 15, Arizona.